As the sled dog racing season begins to wrap up in our region, the Northern Pines Sled Dog Race has widened its parameters to include a diverse field of racers. Producer Megan McGarvey traveled to Iron River, Wisconsin to bring us back this report. So we're in Iron River, Wisconsin, and this is the annual running of the Northern Pine Sled Dog Race, um, which is a, just a one-day race. This is the fifth year. We started with 20 race, racers the first year, and this year we have 100 teams here. We have a 32-mile mid-distance race, a 16-mile sprint race, our first time in Wisconsin, a worldwide weight pull. We have a four-dog, 4.4-mile race and a six-dog, eight-mile race. Races go through the Chewamigan Forest and the county forest around here, and they're shrouded by beautiful white pines. It's a wonderful trail. On this beautiful course, one of the unusual courses where you can see so much of the race, the dogs go out and you watch them, at least at the start. A lot of races, they just go out into the woods and they're gone. But, you know, that's one of the real nice things about this race. Started with the mid-distance race. We sent all those mushers out and there's about 20 of those. Then there's the sprint race and I believe there's 11 teams in the sprint race. They go about 16 to 20 miles an hour for 16 miles. And those are more like hound dogs as, a, as opposed to the husky dogs, like Alaskan Huskies and Siberians that are in the mid-distance. We've tried really hard to include different mushing disciplines so that we bring together the different groups of dog people. And uh, we like to do public education on mushing. We like to support the sport this way so that we bring in all these unique people and their dogs. Historically, um, weight pull dogs were used to deliver groceries. Before cars, like horses, they were work animals. And so people would go to the store and pick up their gear, their food, and the dogs would pull the, the sled back home. So they would, were cargo animals. So this is to sort of reenact that time where people train their dogs for strength and endurance to pull heavy items. And people can train their own house pet to do this if they want. So they don't have to be professional to compete in this race. This is a pretty impressive type of race we have here, being that it's the first in Wisconsin. We have about 70 or 80 volunteers that help put this race on. It's, people are more and more interested in coming every year to help us out. I know I talked to some one person last night who uh, uh, was, felt very fortunate that they could find a place to stay. I think, it, I think it fills up the area motels and there's just a lot of business for, or, you know, the local businesses get a lot of revenue and it, it's, it's just a, it adds some enthusiasm into the, into the, you know, into the local culture. It's great to have a, a race in a community like this that involves so many businesses and encourages people of all ages to get involved. You know, a lot of the other races are very narrow in their perspective, but we've broadened our perspective to include all ends of the rainbow and hope that it continues to grow.